Hey everybody, Agadad here. So I'm on the North Shore of Minnesota doing some picking at one of its beaches here. So I'm gonna walk down to this area where the bigger rocks are and we'll see if we can find any along the way. Here's one. <sighs> Little baby. Little baby. Here's one. That's a pretty decent one. Another baby. Here's one. Some bands on it. All right, so we found a few of those little little babies. So I'm down at the part of the beach where the bigger rocks are at. So I'm gonna start digging around here. Hopefully, we can find some good sized ones. Here's another one. The way the light's hitting it, you can see the bands. Isn't that pretty? Alright, there's a decent sized one. Got some neat little banding in there. There's another one. There's another. Carnelian. It's kind of neat. Well, I didn't find any super big ones, but we just found a good little pretty good handful so uh, we'll head out to another beach and see if we can get lucky at another spot all right so I'm at another spot along the north shore right before Split Rock Lighthouse so I'm gonna do some poking around here and hopefully we can find it I got uh, my boots on so I'm gonna be walking through the water here hopefully we can find some in the water because this is definitely a spot that's overpicked, so hopefully we can find some bigger ones in there. But we'll see. We'll see. I've never, uh, never looked at this beach, and I've never looked in the water like that before. So we'll see what happens. So I've been walking down in the water here, looking around, and I finally, what I think, I believe this is one. Kind of has has that transparency, the waxiness. Pretty decent size. I'll have to maybe. Hit it with a flashlight. Get some better looks at it, see if I can find any bands or anything. But yeah, hopefully, we find some more. Alright, so I'm walking kind of along here, and I'm just kind of gra reaching down and grabbing piles because sometimes it's a little hard to see when the waves are coming in. But I ended up finding another decent one here. Let's see if we can get a decent view of it. We'll get some better light on it. It has some pretty, pretty faint bands, but yeah, we're finding them here, and they're a little better in size than the first spot, so we'll keep going here, see if we can find anything before we head out. Found a couple pieces of what I believe is to be Thompsonite. I'll have to look it up later. It's got that really waxy feel to it, but it's not quite a agate. I'll have to look further into it, but yeah, this is, some of, this is what they look like in one of the books I have, so that's pretty cool. Never found it before. So one of the things I've learned from wading in the lake with my boots is that on the back of them here, they leak. So my socks are all wet and at least it's always hot and superior so my feet aren't cold. <laughs> Thank you.
All right, so I'm back from the beach. I didn't end up finding anything. <laughs> I didn't end, that's my dog, Bentley. I didn't end up finding anything else at the beach, so I'm gonna turn the camera around and show you everything we found. All right, here's everything we found from our beach hunt here. Um, I ended up finding this pretty sweet, uh, I believe it's basalt, and it's got a pocket here, what I think is from where an agate formed way, way back. So that's kind of neat. If that's not what it is, just leave a comment and let me know what you think. Yeah, so found a lot of little guys, a lot of little babies. Uh, the, those two beaches I went to definitely overpicked, so stuff like this is going to be pretty common. Uh, I know there's a lot of little pieces like Chalcedony and Carnelian, stuff like that. But it's still fun to find and look at it. And uh, Also found what I'm pretty sure is Thompson. I'm not sure about this one, but... I'm pretty sure this one's Thompsonite here, so that's kind of, I'll have to, I didn't end up looking further into it, but from the pictures that I have seen, I'm pretty sure, but yeah, I'll look into it later. If you know that it's not, like I said, leave a comment and let me know. Um, here's a kind of a real rugged piece, a lot of pockets, a lot of pits, but on one side here, got some banding in there pretty cool <laughs> just see if we can get to focus yeah so yeah, here's another one it's got some nice banding you can see it down here the darker ones are a little harder to uh, see the banding on camera but maybe it's just the lighting but yeah this one's got a lot of nice bands on it yeah here's another this is from that first beach this one is the biggest one we found at that beach uh, pretty decent size one of the bigger ones I found at that spot but it has one pocket of bands right here that are showing the rest of it is just just raw agate so kinda gives you a good idea of what to look for if they're not showing bands you know here's another one it's got some nice bands that's got like a quartz inlay I'm trying to see if I can get those bands to show up there maybe I use my flashlight to show them off a little better it's getting a little dark here it's getting darker <laughs> every night so yeah now this one it does have some very very faint bands in there there's I don't think there's any way you could see it on here but very very faint so I don't know if that would just consider it kill Sydney same with this one um, yeah, I don't know if you can kind of see right there. I mean, looking at it here, you can see that there's banding. It's just really, really faint. So, yeah. And then this one has an eye hiding in there. You know, I think, yeah, I already showed that one. I just forgot to show you the eye. But yeah, that's kind of neat. It's just kind of hiding out in there. And then this is the big one this looks like a potato and there's like hardly really no banding at all except you probably won't be able to tell but like in here you can actually see banding so I don't know for this one being such a small one I think it would be I think it would be fun to cut it open someday and see what's inside something like that I don't know it's pretty it's not the most beautiful piece so I wouldn't feel too bad if we cut it open and there's nothing in there, so, but, yeah. So that's what we found from the North Shore of Minnesota. Uh, not the biggest ones that I've found before. Uh, pretty good for the North Shore, though. Um, I've been out there quite a few times and I haven't found any that have been as big as some of the ones that we did find. So I'm pretty happy with it. Um, 
it's definitely, as far as egg hunting in this region, I would say the most picked places because we got all the tourists that are coming through wanting to do their hunting and get out and find their uh, beautiful finds and stuff. So, uh, no, nothing wrong with that. You know, you just got to compete a little harder and try different things. So that's why I was going out with my boots and trying to find, you know, the ones in the water because the second beach I went to, everybody else's. There's a few groups of people, they're all on the beach, and I was the only one in the water. So, and I did find uh, my biggest one from the North Shore. Uh, so, uh, can't complain with that. So, that's all I got for this video. So, thanks for watching. Uh, if you want to keep uh, tuning in for my journey as a rookie agate hunter, make sure you subscribe. And we'll see you next time. Bye.